Hey everybody, Joe Casabona here, and I want to tell you about two redirect plugins for WordPress today. Redirect plugins are a dime a dozen, but I've tried a bunch, and I'm here to tell you what my two favorite are. One is the redirection plugin. It's totally free. It allows you to easily create and track clicks for redirects and the other is thirsty affiliates which helps you with even more functionality if you want to create affiliate links on your wordpress website i'm going to show you how to use both of those in this video but before we get to that i want to ask you to subscribe uh, you will know when my latest videos come out, I try to put out one a week and I live stream every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Those live streams go away when they're no longer live. So if you want to get notified when I am live, be sure to click the bell. And one more piece of shameless promotion here. If you do want to see those live streams after the fact and you, you couldn't make it live or you want to see the archive, uh, you can sign up for my membership over at buildsomething.club. On top of the live stream archive, you'll get ad-free extended episodes of my podcast, access to exclusive office hours with me, and access to a community, as well as much, much more. That's over at buildsomething.club. It's just five bucks a month or 50 bucks a year. All right, let's get into the video. So I have my WordPress site up here. Uh, I will remove my face so you could see the whole thing. And first we'll start with the redirection plugin. So we'll go to plugins, add new from the WordPress dashboard. I'm going to search redirection. And the redirection plugin from John Godley is what we want here. So we'll click install and then activate. And now we have our redirection plugin. We will complete our redirection setup. So this is just a quick explainer. The source URL is the original URL. That is the URL you want to redirect from. For example, if I want to redirect to YouTube, I might do casabona.org slash YouTube. And then the target URL is the new URL where you want the user to end up. So again, casabona.org slash YouTube, the source URL would go to youtube.com, the target URL. So that's everything that we should know about this. Uh, some nice features about redirection, uh, which you can find under tools redirection. This is one of the few plugins that doesn't create its own top level navigation in the WordPress dashboard, something else I appreciate about this plugin. Uh, so you can find it under tools redirection. Uh, you, you can monitor 404s, you can import a bunch of redirects, and you can do regular expressions. We won't get into regular expressions in this video, but if you do want to know more about regular expressions and how you can use them in redirects, leave a comment down below and maybe I'll make a video about that. So I'm going to click start setup here, uh, monitor permalink changes in WordPress posts and pages. This is a fantastic feature because if you decide to change the permalink of a post, redirection will automatically create a redirect for you. This is a premium feature in plugins like Yoast SEO. It's nice to see the a free version of it exist in this plugin. And keep a log of all redirects and 404 errors. This is important because this will help us with the statistics. Store IP information for redirects and 404 errors. You uh, may or may not want to do that depending on if you are uh, subject to GDPRs, uh, GDPR rules and regulations. Uh, the, the R in GDPR might stand for regulations. So uh, if you are subject to GDPR, you might not want to do this. Uh, so I will just leave it unchecked. And let's click continue setup. It's going to do some checks. Check for the REST API. We'll click finish setup. And in just a few seconds, we are done. So now import existing redirects. You can see I have some default WordPress old slugs and I have redirects from another plugin I tried called Quick Page Post Redirects. That is fantastic. Uh, and then there's one from Pretty Links as well. So you can see I, I have tried a bunch of different redirect plugins here. 
redirection will import all of those. So I'll click continue and now we have all of the redirects I've created. Let's go ahead and actually create a new one here. So we'll click add new. This again, the source URL is the URL we want people to go to. So uh, the, and I should say it's the relative URL, right? So uh, this is, we're not going to include the top level domain. We will just include the later part of the URL. So YouTube, it says the source URL should probably start with a slash. So we'll add that. Thank you, Redirection, for that reminder. And then here we have some URL options. Is this a regex, ignore slash, ignore case? I like to have ignore slash on because then the, the redirect will work for slash YouTube or slash YouTube slash. Some people will automatically add that ending forward slash. Uh, I won't, and I'll include ignore slash here. Uh, query parameters. So these are things that uh, generally have the question mark. You can actually see it up here. In this URL, we have a question mark page equals redirection.php. That's a query parameter. So if you want to send other tracking information to the destination or the target URL, you can uh, ignore all parameters or ignore and pass parameters to the target. Um, exact match in any order. It's I generally keep this the same unless I know I want to pass tracking information. If you are not sure, I would just keep this the same. And then the target URL. So we'll do HTTPS colon slash colon slash slash YouTube.com. And then we can add it to uh, some group and we can create groups. I'll show you how to do that in a minute in case you want to keep track of that. So I'll click add redirect. Now the URL for this site is casabona.local. Go to casabona.local slash YouTube and it redirects to youtube.com. So that's how to create a simple redirect with redirection. Again, we have groups. So I put everything in just the general redirection uh, category. But if you, if you, for example, do have affiliate links, maybe you want to add an affiliate links group and then you can add links there. So you can view all the redirects for that group, etc. Uh, we're going to ignore most of these settings, but I do want to go to the log, right? You could see the redirects in action, uh, the source URL, whether or not the slash was added. If we go back to the redirects, you could see we've got two hits here. And of course, we could see the 404 errors if there are any. Uh, the powerful part of the 404 errors is if we see a 404, we can create that redirect right away. So that is the redirection plugin. Now let's take a look at something that will help us manage affiliate links better. And that is a plugin called Thirsty Affiliates. So we'll search for Thirsty Affiliates here. I'm going to, this is a free, there's a free version of this plugin and a premium version. We're going to talk about the premium version because there's a lot of cool features in that, but we do need to install the free version first. And I will just show you that really quick. So we will install and activate that. Uh, Thirsty Affiliates does create a top level uh, menu item in the dashboard. So if we click through to that, uh, you can see I already have a bunch of affiliate links here. Uh, so the way that Thirsty Affiliates works is we can create a new affiliate link. Uh, then we can add that. So uh, let's just say uh, that I, uh, I'm a YouTube affiliate. Well, So the way Thirsty Affiliate works is we'll click new affiliate link here. Uh, let's just create uh, a link to Creator Courses, which is my online courses site. We'll say I'm an affiliate there. So we'll add that URL uh, and then F equals one for affiliate equals one. Uh, you'll of course want to have your actual affiliate link. Uh, and then 
we have the destination. Uh, we can see where the links have been created. And then you can see there's a lot of pro features here. So I will install and activate the pro version in a minute, but I just want to show you what you get from the free version. Uh, there are a few link options. You can categorize them. So this is courses. And then I'll click save link. Now, I haven't configured this at all. So what affiliate, what Thirsty Affiliates does is it creates a cloaked URL with a little prefix. So you kind of know right by looking at it that it's a Thirsty Affiliate link. You can change that in settings. So if we go to settings, uh, default link insertion type is link. But the link appearance allows you to change the prefix. So uh, they have recommends, link, go, review, product, suggest, or you can do a custom one. Uh, I, I like go because it's the shortest. Uh, and it's good to keep this prefix uh, because Thirsty Affiliates is going to be creating a lot of links. It doesn't want to collide with any other redirects that you've created. So uh, you don't have to worry about that if you have a prefix. Uh, and then it gives you a few other options. I, again, generally, you don't have to walk through these. If you want more information about, if you want like a full tutorial on thirst, uh, Thirsty Affiliates, again, let me know and I'll do a full video on that. But let's talk about these pro features. So I do have the pro plugin. I'll just go ahead and upload and install that now. Okay, so I have installed Thirsty Affiliates, the, the pro version of it. Uh, I have the license key added. So now let's go back to the affiliate link I just created. Creator Courses, I'll click on that. You can see we have one big option that I use every single day. And this is auto link keywords. So you can set a number of keywords that will automatically get linked with thirsty affiliates. So you don't have to go back and do it yourself. So creator courses, for example, anytime I write creator courses, thirsty affiliates will now automatically link this. Uh, if I do WordPress courses, uh, it will, again, automatically link that keyword as well. Uh, learn to podcast. I have a podcasting course. So we'll add these keywords to the auto linker and click save link. And hmm, uh, this is not linked. And that's because we forgot a setting in Thirsty Affiliate. So let's go to dashboard. We'll go to Thirsty Affiliates settings and we'll go to the new auto linker tab that we see here. And you could see disable auto linking on homepage. I actually think that this is a really smart feature, right? Because uh, if you have your homepage, maybe it's a landing page. You don't want uh, these automatic links to be generated for that because you're, you're promoting a specific message. Maybe you just want auto links on the blog, uh, on the, on the blog posts. I'm going to click disable auto link just so you could see how the plugin works. And so we'll go back to visit site. And now you do see linked text and the URL is casabona.local slash go slash creator dash courses. Now there is one more thing I want to show you and that is the reporting. So I'm actually over on my live site now. I'll click reports. And we could see some reports in real time. So I'll zoom out so you can see this chart. But we could see the clicks from day to day for these affiliate links. We can check out the geolocation. So we could see where people are clicking from. You can see most are coming from uh, Canada, um, the United States, and then Canada, rather, uh, Germany. And we can see the stats table. So we could see the most recent clicks and where people went to. And we also have the keywords. So these are the keywords that are auto linked uh, from when we created the links. I, you can see a bunch I have not auto linked, uh, but that's okay. We have the uh, most popular keywords here in the last seven days. 
So this, again, really good software. I would strongly recommend uh, the pro version of it because there's a lot of really good features in it. And the pricing, as I record this, is really good, right? Uh, you can get one site for $49. Hopefully you make more than that off of your affiliate links. Speaking of, I will have a link to this in the description, which is an affiliate link. I will get a kickback if you purchase from my link, but you will not see any additional cost. So uh, that's a nice way for you to get something while also supporting the channel if you like. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions about redirection or thirsty affiliates, be sure to leave them in the comments below. If you liked this video, subscribe. And until next time, Get out there and build something.